the Rafferty family leave for Melbourne, Australia in the morning. The car has been sold and their tenants are ready to move in. Brendan is finding leaving the family home more difficult than he'd imagined. What's we seeing tunnel dryer, microwave oven? The, the family who's going to be renting the house out, they have to come down and sign this tenancy agreement. So I have to do an inventory, which I'm going to write out. I never anticipated that this house has a personality. I look at the house now like as a part of the family and to see it empty now, it's, it was... Anybody who's thinking of doing this here, don't think that you're just going to walk away from the house and it's going to be easy because your house really is a big, big part of your life. It's 1am in Belfast and Dan is taking the bus to Dublin Airport. It's a bit unreal at the minute to me. I think it just seems a bit surreal um, in the sense that you know, it's so close to the end going now, but at the same time, it seems more like a dream rather than a reality to me. Oh, I feel I haven't been doing very well at all today. <laughs> I think what it is, is I'm more worried for you two. I think somewhere in the back of my mind, I was hoping that he would change his mind yeah. and not go. But I know he's going to be fine. Uh, it's no. the best thing for him, and it'll be an adventure, and he's always going to stick him up to. This last couple of days, he has been a bit emotional, I think. Yeah. Uh, but he's good at hiding it. You know, he's very good at hiding it. I oh. told Kelsey she didn't think she's ever going to go anywhere. <laughs> I just couldn't lose both of them. I don't know what the future holds for me, really. I, I would like to come back. I've always sort of seen myself having a life here, but it really all depends on what the state of the economy is, whether there's something worth coming back to, whether I'll be able to get a job, I could end up staying in Malaysia. But I'd like, I'd like to come back to Ireland, I and mean, it's, it's a beautiful country.